Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hello, and welcome to another reading from I Am That Talks with Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj. Today I'm going to read Awareness and Consciousness, and I will launch right into it. The questioner asks Maharaj, what do you do when asleep? Maharaj replies, I am aware of being asleep. The questioner asks, is not sleep a state of unconsciousness? Maharaj replies, yes, I am aware of being unconscious. The questioner asks, and when awake or dreaming? And Maharaj replies, I am aware of being awake or dreaming. The questioner comes back with, I do not catch you. What exactly do you mean? Let me make my terms clear. By being asleep, I mean unconscious. By being awake, I mean conscious. By dreaming, I mean conscious of one's mind, but not one's surroundings. Maharaj replies, well, it's about the same with me. Yet, there seems to be a difference. In each state, you forget the other two, while to me, there is but one state of being, including and transcending the three mental states of waking, dreaming, and sleeping. The questioner asks, do you see in the world a direction and a purpose? And Maharaj replies with, the world is but a reflection of my imagination. Whatever I want to see, I can see. But why should I invent patterns of creation, evolution and destruction? I do not need them. The world is in me. The world is myself. I am not afraid of it and have no desire to lock it up in a mental picture. The questioner replies with, coming back to sleep, do you dream? Maharaj says, of course. The questioner asks, what are your dreams? And Maharaj replies, echoes of the waking state. The questioner asks, and your deep sleep? Maharaj replies, the brain consciousness is suspended. The questioner asks, are you then unconscious? And Maharaj says, not quite unconscious. I remain aware that I am unconscious. The questioner said, asks, you use the words aware and conscious. Are they not the same? And Maharaj replies, awareness is primordial. It is the original state, beginningless, endless, uncaused, unsupported, without parts, without change. Consciousness is on contact, a reflection against a surface, a state of duality. There can be no consciousness without awareness, but there can be awareness without consciousness, as in deep sleep. Awareness is absolute. Consciousness is relative to its content. Consciousness is always of something. Consciousness is partial and changeful, 
Awareness is total and changeless, calm and silent. And it is the common matrix of every experience. The questioner asks, how does one go beyond consciousness into awareness? And Maharaj replies to this with, since it is awareness that makes consciousness possible, there is awareness in every state of consciousness. Therefore, the very consciousness of being conscious is already a movement in awareness. Interest in your stream of consciousness takes you to awareness. It is not a new state. It is at once recognized as the original basic existence, which is life itself and also love and joy. The questioner asks, since reality is all the time with us, what does self-realization consist of? And Maharaj replies, Realization is but the opposite of ignorance. To take the world as real and one's self as unreal is ignorance. The cause of sorrow. To know the self as the only reality and all else as temporal and Transient is freedom, peace, and joy. It is all very simple. Instead of seeing things as imagined, learn to see them as they are. When you can see everything as it is, you will also see yourself as you are. It is like cleansing a mirror. The same mirror that shows you the world as it is will also show you your own face. The thought I am is the polishing cloth. Use it. Shri Nisargadatta Maharaj Ki Jai